The Elbe Lateral Canal connects the River Elbe near Hamburg with the Middle Inn Canal near Wolfsburg. The waterway negotiates an elevation difference of 61 meters. Some 38 meters of this is achieved by the Lüneburg ship lift, which was the world's largest of its kind when it opened in 1976. More than 35 years of service have left the lift in need of renovation, including new drive technology for the heavy-duty gates, supplied by SEW Eurodrive. The ship lift operates two neighboring lanes. Two water-filled troughs of a good 100 meters in length move up and down, independently of each other. Each of the 6,000 metric ton troughs is supported by 240 steel cables. The troughs are sealed using large gates that are each driven by two AC asynchronous motors with a braking unit and industrial gear unit. The concept, designed by the Drive Technology Center in Hanover for the retrofit, called for a far more powerful main drive than before. Two 75-kilowatt motors from SEW Eurodrive are now used to move each gate. Industrial gear units from the X4 series transfer the power using three helical gear stages and one bevel gear input stage. The specifications require each pair of drive units to be mechanically connected, so the SEW Eurodrive gear unit was modified accordingly. In case of emergency, each gate can also be moved using a smaller auxiliary drive. Following the alterations, these will each be an SEW standard motor with a second motor shaft end. During normal operation, the large main motors are gently accelerated and decelerated using a shared inverter. They each now provide 20 kilowatts more in terms of power reserve than the drive installed in the 1970s. The torque of the new gear unit is also more than 50% higher than its predecessors. Each year, some 16,000 ships pass through the Lüneburg ship lift, which is subject to enormous forces. The new drive package from SEW Eurodrive in Bruxelles can be relied upon to open and close its gates for many years to come. Spare parts will be quickly and easily accessible for servicing the standard components.